Power episode begins with Buck, Wilma, and Tweaky heading to a space station in order to get some maintenance for Tweaky. While they're there, a ship shows up out of nowhere and seems out of control and headed for the space station. It ends up crashing into the station. The crew decide to take a look, but before they get down there, you see some type of red orb fly out. Once they go in, Wilma begins to shiver. When they get into the ship, they find that the entire crew is dead. Commander Royko declares that they have to quarantine the space station until they find out what happened. They take a recorder from the ship and gather together to listen. The updates from the recorder talk about how the crew is dying mysteriously and the ship is losing power. The crew apparently are losing sanity prior to death, and among the last recordings is a female crew member frightened and telling something off camera to stay away. The crew debate whether they had a virus called EL7, but Wilma believes it's something else. As they all leave, Buck confronts the ship's doctor, who seems distracted. The doctor tells Buck that the crew of the ship aren't really dead and shows signs that their life force has been drained. He doesn't understand the term vampire when Buck suggests that being the situation. Buck reports back to Dr. Chewer the situation and asks him to do some digging on both the ship and its crew. When Buck and Wilma sit down to eat later on, Buck notices that Wilma is not eating and seems distant. Buck lets her know what Dr. Ekbar told him about the crew not really being dead. As Buck leaves to get Wilma a drink, we see the red orb from earlier who seems to have its eyes on a shivering Wilma. Wilma looks across the room and sees some type of alien which frightens her, but when Buck comes back with her drink, it's gone. The orb then makes its way back to the sick bay where Dr. Ekbar asks the others to join him. We see one of the supposed dead crewmates rise and grab the doctor while the alien creature attacks him. When the crew shows up, they find the doctor in the same dead-like state. Commander Roku wants nothing to do with the vampire theory, and while they have that conversation, we see once again the orb fixate on Wilma. After another conversation with Dr. Hewer, Buck leaves Wilma to go check on Twiggy. Wilma is concerned that she might be losing it. While Twiggy shows Buck the last recreated video from the ship, which shows the captain fighting with an invisible creature, we see the red orb go to sickbay and revive the rest of the crew. Buck heads back to the ghost ship, where he's attacked by the now undead Dr. Akbar. As he escapes, the rest of the crew grab him while the vampire goes to attack him. Buck stops with something in his pocket and sounds a station alarm which drives the vampires off. He wakes up in sickbay with Royko and Wilma all over him. He tries to explain that the ship's crew attacked him, but Royko tries to pass it off as an EL-7 hallucination, with Twiggy's video also being destroyed. Back at Buck's room, Dr. Schroeder confirms all of Buck's beliefs that a space vampire is the culprit. He tells Buck that the only one who was able to see the vampire is his intended victim. He volunteers to send fighters to the space station, but Buck lets him know it would be too late by the time they get there and that he has a plan. Back at the cantina, Wilma is sitting with Twiggy when he, she sees the vampire who tells her that he wants her. He tells her that he'll kill everyone to get to her, and she runs off. She heads to Buck's room, but he's not there. The vampire hypnotizes her to come to him, but she again runs off screaming for Buck and Ryko. Just before she can feed on Wilma, Buck shoots it. Ryko and crew then show up and lock Buck and Wilma up, claiming they both must have the virus. Buck demands that Ryko confirm with Dr. Hewer before giving him any sedatives. Back at Wilma's, the vampire shows up. She makes a deal with him that if he takes her, he'll then let the rest of the crew live. He tells her if he has her, he won't need anyone else for a long time and proceeds to drain her. Next, we see Wilma somehow walking into Buck's room. She now sports red eyes and brags to him how great it was to drain the guards. He touches the talisman that helped him earlier to her to ward her off. <laughs> you drink me! And she runs back to the vampire. The vampire then tells her it's okay because there are worlds full of people that she can drain. Buck and Royko then head off after them, stopping to take out some guards turned on the way. Meanwhile, the vampire and Wilma take off in Buck's ship, which Buck has booby-trapped. When the vampire orders Wilma to attack Buck, who's in a ship following them, she seems to not be able to do it. The ship heads toward a star, which weakens the vampire, snapping Wilma out of her trance just in time to get into an escape rocket. The episode ends with Dr. Akbar letting Buck and the crew know that everyone went back to normal once the vampire burned in the star. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.